got a number of students here, including the student body president that we want to talk with, including Adil Khan. We've got uh, uh, Mark Demetrio, Jason Klein, and Ben Anderson. Thank you all for taking the time to speak with us. All of you have been touched, uh, even uh, even you, Adil. Uh, you knew students who were killed yesterday. I did. Uh, through several students, I, I knew some students that, that were killed, and uh, it's definitely starting to sink in now, now that we found out some of their faces and, and putting their faces with the names, and we, we, we've definitely been affected by this. And whether or not you know, knew a student closely, everyone here is family. Everyone is a part of this, this Hokie Nation, and we, we definitely um, uh, f feel for every student here. Yeah. Mark, you knew one of the uh, students who was, who was uh, hurt initially very early yesterday morning? Um, yeah, I, I knew the girl in the dorm just through a good friend of mine. Um, so uh, as soon as I heard there was a shooting in the dorm yesterday, I gave him a call to see if um, her and her roommate were all right, and that's when I heard the news that she was shot, and I didn't find out until later in the day that she passed away. So just to um, know that, that people on campus, just great kids that go here, were being shot and killed in such a senseless act, it was really hard to make sense of all of that. Yeah. What... what? How are our folks coping when you're away from the camera, when you're, when you're back in the dorms or, or back at your apartments? What are people saying to each other? We really have a tight-knit community here at Virginia Tech, and everyone is trying to pull together to get through this, this tragic event. And, uh, you know, everyone, I believe, yesterday was in such a state of shock, but today we're really trying to come together, see what we can do to help. And I know tonight there's going to be a candlelight vigil at 8 p.m., so, you know, we're all going to come together to that and see what we can, if we can help this grieving, grieving process. Is there any way for you to express what this is like because... This is something you watch on television. This is something that happens someplace else. This is something that doesn't happen to most of us. Here, the saddest part about it is that it really takes a tragedy like this to make you appreciate life so much more. Um, I have two, two fraternity brothers, uh, two close friends of mine. They were actually supposed to be in one of the classes that was uh, shot out the other day. And one of them just simply slept in. The other one was out of town. And it just it makes you, you know, really appreciate the fact that, like, maybe there's some, you know, someone looking out for you. Yeah, yeah. So, what, you know, it's very interesting is we've been here almost 24 hours now. The shock is starting to, to wear off on me. It certainly must be wearing off on everybody else. Uh, that's where um, uh, you'd sort of... You, you sort of disagree. I disagree with you in the sense that we're, we're now finding out the names and we're finding out those students who, who, who are just like us, students that, that we care about. And um, uh, I, I think the shock's starting to set in, especially for, the, for those students who, who've... Uh, who've already responded to this and, and have tried to gather people and, and, and start the, the relief, relief effort immediately. The, the student government has already uh, planned a vigil for tomorrow night, which uh, we mentioned already, at 8 p.m., and uh, it's going to be on the drill field. We expect over 40,000 students to be there. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, one of the reasons that, that I came out today was sort of to request um, uh, from, from merchants uh, across the country if they could bring candles down here. We, we've cleared out Blacksburg, we've cleared out the local area, and we just, we don't have nearly enough. And uh -huh. if, if anyone could, could offer their help, we'd really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you all for taking the time to speak with us, and we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much.